is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest is the first woman in 1,400 years to go into a mosque, proclaim Jesus, and see miracles. How did she get such favor? I want to know. Do you want to know? I want to know. And we're going to find out because anything she can do, you can do better. And I'm going to tell you something else. You are going to build on her shoulders as you learn these mysteries. here with Marilyn Hickey, and I, I, I have to tell you, an 81-year-old woman flies to Pakistan, has a couple hundred thousand mostly Muslims hear her proclaim Jesus, see miracles. Um, how do you do it at 81, Marilyn Hickey? Well, let me tell you how and how everyone can do it. That's even better. Yes. Faith in Jesus is the big key. Now, people look at their age. God's not looking at your age. People look at their color. God's not interested in your color. People look at their gender. God's not interested in your gender. What he responds to is your faith in Jesus. So every Christian can do all things. And you know what? She almost missed what she's doing today, except she met a young man who started insisting that she move into areas of the spirit, and he started praying and fasting for her. Uh, tell me about that. <laughs> well, we were engaged, and uh, my fiance said, I'm not going to marry a woman who's half hearted for God. He said, I serve the devil with all my heart. And I said, oh, I was so insulted. I said, Well, I'm saved. He said, But you're not committed. And I'm not going to marry you unless you have a commitment to the power of the Holy Spirit. So he said, I'm on a three-day fast. I was so insulted. I was a school teacher, couldn't sleep at night. And you were a nice Christian. I was a nice Christian, <laughs> but not too committed. And so he fasted, and God dealt with me each night because he'd been dealing with me for a deeper walk for four years. And so the third night, the Lord said to me, I'm not going to deal with you about this ever again. About, he said, I'm going to show you if you turn down the power of the Holy Spirit at this time, he said, you are going to move to California. You're going to get your master's degree. You're going to marry a Christian, have a happy life. He said, but I have something so wonderful for you, you cannot mm. imagine. God's mm. destiny for every one of you. Well, and, and by the way, <laughs> it's not just a nice story. God's speaking to you right now. So Marilyn did something that I wish, I wish I could have done. One of the greatest miracle ministries I ever read about, short of in the Bible, uh, but on the same level, was a man by the name of Branham. And Marilyn had a problem. The doctor said she couldn't have a child. So... She goes to this meeting. How many people were at Branham's meeting when you were uh, Probably it was about 5,000. It was in Dallas, Texas. And what happened? Well, I was 26. I'd been married three years. They said I could never have a child. I had an inherited condition. And he called me out of the audience. Well, here I am on a platform facing this man and had the most 
unusual experience. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it was like a wheel within a wheel, uh, lower on the ground, and I could see it, and as it turned, it went whoosh, whoosh. I could hear it. And this man is saying to me, you're not from Denver, you're not from here. You're from Denver, Colorado. You're from a wooded area, and you can't have a baby. Now, I'm thinking if I see He had never met you? Never. And Never. He just pulls you right out of an audience. Exactly. And he could have been, I mean, how could he have known any, all those things? It was the Spirit of God. He said, you can't have a baby. But he said, go home and receive your child. And the reason I'm telling you wheel within a wheel, it came into my feet. And it wasn't until 10 years later I got pregnant. And I went to a doctor. I said, I think I'm pregnant. He examined me. He said, no, you're not pregnant. That's impossible. He said, you're not pregnant. You're going through a change. So I went home and went through some more changes and, <laughs> <laughs> and went to another doctor. He said, this is a five and a half month pregnancy. And of course, you can see Sarah on my program. But the key, 10 years from that word, you see, it's like the game of baseball. You don't have three strikes and you're out. You are only out if you quit swinging. You got it? You That's got right. it? That's right. Okay, Marilyn, very quickly. People have had influences on your life. Kenneth Hagin taught the authority of the believer. Bill Gothard, briefly, what influence did he have on your life? Kenneth Hagin, of course, got me into the Word, I just soaked in the Word with faith and authority, taking authority against the enemy, walking in the power of the Word. But Bill Gothard got me into meditating on the Word. So Joshua 1.8 for probably, what, almost 42 years has been the theme of my life. It says if you meditate in the Word day and night, if you speak the Word day and night, if you do the Word day and night, you will make your own way prosperous and successful. So, now, what happened to Bill Gothard when he meditated? Well, he was retarded, actually, and a Sunday school teacher. I didn't teacher, know that. Yeah, he was retarded. They just pushed him from grade to grade. Mm -hmm. And in fourth grade, a Sunday school teacher began to have this boy's class memorize the Word. And he continued to do that, graduated valedictorian. And then, you know, graduated from university and so on. Wait till you find out all the things that God has taught this woman. And remember what I said. Anything Marilyn can do, you can do better. Be right back. Right back to It's Supernatural. Our world is rife with comparisons about what separates us. Day after day, we go about our lives with tunnel vision. But scripture tells us how Messiah broke down the wall between Jew and Gentile, allowing for the creation of one new man, one new humanity. This spiritual completeness is set to usher in the greatest move toward God the world has ever known. Sid Roth has discovered Scripture's key to reaching the Jewish people with God's love. One New Humanity opens the door for God to move in signs and wonders, and all will see the evidence of the invisible God promised in Scripture. At SidRoth.org, you'll find mentoring tools to empower you to share how One New Humanity is critical to bringing multitudes to know God. You'll understand Israel and the Jewish roots of the church and how all the nations of the earth will experience blessings unseen in human history. Log on to SidRoth.org today and learn how one new man is the key to unlocking God's greatest blessings. We now return to It's Supernatural. Oh, it's Sid Roth here with Marilyn Hickey. Uh, and Marilyn, you have a statement that you have been saying for years. This is what she says. I love Muslims, and Muslims love me. But this is absolutely ridiculous. Tell me, I mean, because you're, number one, you're a woman. True. Number two, your you're, you're age. Yes. Uh, number three, you, you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. No, no. Number four, you go in miracles. Tell me about when you first went to Pakistan. The what first happened? time I went to Pakistan was 1995, and I was frightened. You know, I thought, because everybody told me they'll shoot me. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> the first night, though, I just I taught just the Bible, a mir again. one miracle of Jesus, He's prayed for the God. sick and had dramatic miracles. It's his name. And nobody walked out, nobody shot me. By the fourth night... I can see. <laughs> <laughs> by the fourth night, we had over uh, four, 20,000 people. First night, 4,000. Last night, 20,000 people. You, you just got back from Pakistan. How many people did you have there? 210,000. How do you night. preach the gospel to 210,000 mostly Muslims? Now, that is ridiculous favor. That's not just favor. That's ridiculous favor. I want to know how you have ridiculous favor, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> 81. <laughs> Well, I believe the best miracles, that's the biggest meeting I ever had. I was 80 at that time I had that meeting, and I just turned 81 not too long ago. But what I began many years ago is I prayed over the nations of the world, and I always had a warm feeling toward Pakistan. And then I had a warm feeling toward Sudan and some of these Muslim countries. You realize one-fifth of the world's population is Muslim. And how are they to know the gospel if we don't go? Now, here's what they love. They love healing miracles because in the Quran, it says that Jesus heals. Well, you got a bridge, you know. And so... Uh, have you ever prayed for an imam? Oh, and yes. they've been healed? Oh, yes. I have it on video. Tell me. And the second time I went to Pakistan, a, an imam who was blind in one of his eyes received his sight and came and testified. You'll never forget Jesus when yeah. you're blind and you can see. Right. Now, you can't say uh, that he was faking it. You can't even say it was psychosomatic. You can only say, God is real. Right. That's what right. people say. Right, exactly. So each time I would go, I've been six times, we would have big meetings in stadiums wherever I could have them and pray for the sick because you advertise and say, come and be healed. But boy, what if no one's healed, Marilyn? Oh. You're in big trouble. That's the first thing. <laughs> you know what? The name of Jesus heals. All healing, all forgiveness of sin has been purchased for us. It's not my name. It's his name. That's why believers can lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. This is for everyone. I, I want you, you talk about a word that I love and I don't hear enough about. It's called expectation. What is expectation to you? Expectation is putting your faith in what God says and proclaiming it, and then he manifests it. You believe, you will see it. Yeah, but what would you say to someone that says, I've been doing that for years and I haven't seen it, so I have I just don't expect anything anymore, so I won't be disappointed. What would you say to that woman? I would say to that person, you're giving up too soon. Giving up too soon. Because people said to me, you can't do this. You're a woman. You're too old to do it. But God thinks you can do anything. Amen. Remember that. God thinks you can do anything. Put your hand on your heart. Say, I believe. I believe. God thinks God. I can do anything. anything. So if God says it, God says it. I believe it. I believe it. And that settles it. <laughs> All right. Do you believe? Okay, you ready? You ready? Do you believe that there is are women watching right now that were where you were, medically can't have a child, they're married. Mm -hmm. That's the only catch. Exactly. They have to be married. They're married. And do you believe if you pray for them right now? Yes. That no matter what reason they can't have a child, they'll be able to? No yes. matter what? Yes. Then do it. And I want to say something. My anointing and faith in this is growing. People are having twins. <laughs> well, go, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> okay, put your hand on your body. You're watching right now. Know that your father loves you so much, and he promises that the barren will bear. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I send your wonderful word into every barren woman who has her hand on her body, and your word cannot return void. Your word prospers and accomplishes in that which it's sent to. So I thank you. That word now is coming into them, that word of faith. 
I thank you for babies that are healthy, that are not rebellious, that serve God all their lives, and even easy deliveries. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, Marilyn, as you were praying that, and, and by the way, I absolutely expect to get so many reports uh, of miracle babies, yes. but I see people with arthritis in their fingers. If you will start bending your fingers right now, you'll see that a carpal tunnel, it, uh, you're free in Yeshua's name. And some of that peace that is on Marilyn and myself, I just pray it go right through the video, right through the television right now, and you receive some of that. And when we come back, I'm going to find out some more secrets. And I want to really find out how a woman, the first woman in history, goes into a mosque, preaches Jesus, the miracles of Jesus, and miracles take place. And by the way, that's not in the Middle East. Uh, that's in the United States. Be right back. <laughs> We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. 81-year-old Marilyn says, if miracles follow me, miracles will follow you. For over 37 years, Marilyn Hickey has mentored people worldwide to walk in the supernatural of God. Now she wants to mentor you. Call now and get Marilyn Hickey's anointed book, Your Pathway to Miracles, plus her life-changing two-part audio CD teaching series, God's Authority, Use It or Lose It, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9170. Marilyn Hickey's book will help you discover seeds of miracles that God has already planted in your life. Develop an I can attitude that makes you a miracle magnet. Level every mountain in your life to access your breakthrough. Experience the power and anointing of the prayer of favor. Through her powerful audio CD teaching series, you will discover how you were made to take authority. Receive an impartation to activate divine authority to access every promise of God. If you meditate in the word day and night, if you speak the word day and night, if you do the word day and night, you will make your own way prosperous and successful. Don't miss out on getting Marilyn Hickey's anointed book, Your Pathway to Miracles, plus her life-changing two-part audio CD teaching series, God's Authority, Use It or Lose It, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9170. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278, or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Can you imagine a woman speaking in a mosque about Jesus, Muslims present, and miracles take place? How did you do that, Marilyn? It's the favor of God, really. Psalms 512 because I wanted to have a healing meeting in a mosque and break this barrier. Because once you break it, a lot of other people, it has domino right. effect. I so I met an imam in Detroit, Jesus. asked him about doing this. <laughs> oh, no, he said, no, we would, no, never, we would do never do that. But then <laughs> you don't give up till you win. The game is not over till you win. Uh, uh, you talk about I can. That's what, right. do you, what do you mean by that? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You don't say, I can't, because everybody said, you can't. It's never been done, not going to happen with you. Thank you. But it happened, because when I was getting ready to leave, and I wasn't discouraged, he said to me, the next time you're in Detroit, why don't you come to my house for dinner? Six months later, I'm in Detroit. He said, now, what is it you want to do? I said, I want to have a healing, mo healing meeting in a mosque, and I want to pray for the sick and believe for the miraculous. He said, we can do that. <laughs> Jesus. Did you hear that? that? I want you to say, I can do all things in Messiah Jesus. You hear that, devil? <laughs> You're not saying it for anyone else's benefit, but the devil. And we're to release the angels to even have a healing meeting and a presentation of Jesus in a mosque. What happened? Well, I spoke first time in history, and I, we had an agreement. I could teach the Bible. I taught one miracle of Jesus and then prayed for the sick. Was anyone healed? 
Oh, yes. We had people healed of back problems. The boy who opened the meeting, who read from the Quran, couldn't see, they had no distant sight, and God healed him. A lot of people were healed, though it wasn't a big crowd, but afterwards they always have refreshments, and they had like 11 imams and maybe 100 people. And so I just decided to go from table to table, and they would say, would you pray for my family? Uh, would you pray for my back? Would you pray? Whatever. And prayed for the sick. And then the imam invited me back. And he, I prayed for him and his wife. They couldn't have babies. And now they have two. That's normal. I wish the whole world was normal, like you, Marilyn. Now, you know, Marilyn. One thing I notice is many people like you that operate in the miraculous, when you get sick, what happens? Like the time you discovered a lump in your breast, not right. someone else's. And that was many years ago, but I took that scripture because you take the promise to the problem. You don't take the problem to God. Take the promise that goes with the problem because the promise doesn't return void. So it says the word will be health to your flesh. And health there, in some places, it says medicine. So I thought, you know, you usually take medicine three times a day, but I got to get rid of this thing fast because it was growing fast. So I stayed up for 24 hours and sent the word into that lump. I said, this word, I read it out loud. This word is health to my flesh. Uh, uh, over the 24 hours, how often did you say that? Surprise? Okay, every hour. I did it for 24 times. Hmm. And it was gone. It was gone. Love it. I love it. I love being normal. I do too. <laughs> okay, Marilyn, uh, I got a little confession to make. I find it difficult to memorize, and I think there's a few people watching that find it difficult to memorize. Um, tell us some tips on memory, and also you told me something about what happens the last thing you, uh, you look upon or speak about right, before right. you go to bed. Start with that. All right, uh, Proverbs 6.22 says, when you sleep, the word will keep you. When you wake up, the word will talk to you, and when you walk, the word will guide you. So three times a day, I take a verse, and you, you know, you may want to take uh, just one a week, and I say that verse first thing in the morning, because it's not just you reading the Bible, the Bible starts reading you. And I speak that verse 10 times out loud. Now, don't ask me why it's 10. I just know this works for me. Then at lunchtime, I speak that promise again because the Word guides me in my day. But before I go to sleep, I speak it because this is what I read, that whatever you see last goes through your mind seven times through the night. So the Word is working in me while I'm sleeping. So uh, what is the last thing <laughs> that you see before you go to bed? Uh, I think you got the message. What if we put on our Twitter account and Facebook account one scripture every week, and all of us do it together. I think that would be just a phenomenal oh, mentoring yes. for people. Oh, yes. And I would suggest John 8, 12. It says, I, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So speak that when you get up in the morning. You're not going to have a dark day. Why? Because you're following Jesus, and he's the light for this life as well as eternal life. I want you to pray for supernatural favor for our viewers right now. Oh, I love this. I love to do this. Every one of you are to have supernatural favor. Don't look at anything about yourself. Look at who he is, and you are in him. Father, I pray for everyone watching this program that Psalms 512 says you surround the righteous with favor like a shield, and we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It's His righteousness, and we are surrounded with favor. Every place we go, people love us. Every place we go, we love them. We just walk, we walk down an aisle in a store, 
and we smile. Jesus and people smile back at us because they know there is a favor around us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There, there's not just a favor around us. The presence of God is around us. Yes. And I tell you, if God is for you, who can be against you? I tell you, worry for nothing. I tell you that you have a peace that is beyond comprehension. I tell you, you can do exceedingly abundantly beyond anything, anything you've ever asked or thought according to the power that dwells within you. I tell you, all things are possible to those who believe. I tell you, God loves you and has a destiny and a plan for your life, and Jesus is the only way to know God, only way. Eighty-one-year-old Marilyn says, if miracles follow me, miracles will follow you. For over 37 years, Marilyn Hickey has mentored people worldwide to walk in the supernatural of God. Now she wants to mentor you. Call now and get Marilyn Hickey's anointed book, Your Pathway to Miracles, plus her life-changing two-part audio CD teaching series, God's Authority, Use It or Lose It, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9170. Marilyn Hickey's book will help you discover seeds of miracles that God has already planted in your life. Develop an I can attitude that makes you a miracle magnet. Level every mountain in your life to access your breakthrough. Experience the power and anointing of the prayer of favor. Through her powerful audio CD teaching series, you will discover how you were made to take authority. Receive an impartation to activate divine authority to access every promise of God. If you meditate in the word day and night, if you speak the word day and night, if you do the word day and night, you will make your own way prosperous and successful. Don't miss out on getting Marilyn Hickey's anointed book, Your Pathway to Miracles, plus her life-changing two-part audio CD teaching series, God's Authority, Use It or Lose It, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9170. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278, or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my guest had a visitation from the Lord for three months, and he was downloaded revelation from the Word of God so that all of the promises of God will be activated in your life. And it's wonderful that superstars yes. have it activated, but my Bible says, we only have one superstar, Amen. and his Amen. name is Jesus. Yeah. I'm telling you, he is so charged with and filled with new revelation that you will never, ever be the same. Great.